Yo, what up, Stomp Wrestling fam? So it's me, your boy, WrestleDrop, with your boy, MPKH, filtered, unfiltered, whichever persona it feels like putting on today. And I got a feeling with this video, it might be the unfiltered version, but we'll see. So let's talk about the AW Trios tournament. That's what we're going to discuss. I think it's starting this week on Dynamite. I think could be wrong, but I think it would be a good point of a good point of discussion. Um, lot to discuss. Who's going to be teaming with the Young Bucks? Who's going to win the whole thing? Let's let's get into it. Right. So let's start off with a simple one. Uh, House of Black versus Dark Order. You say it's a simple one, but with Hangman, so far we don't know what's going to happen this week. With Hangman being in Dark Order's corner. Do they get a sneaky win over House of Black? Mm, no. Does, they don't. Does Sting and Darby Allen do something to get involved on Miro? You never know. No, I, you still think House of Black's winning? I want to say, say yes, but at the same time, am I really going to... Am I really going to say Dark Order is going to win? Because it will shock me, not going to lie to you. But... I feel like that match is it's too predictable. It is it's a bit predictable. predictable. But the thing that's getting me thinking is Hangman being in uh, Dark Order's corner. That's what's got me mm. thinking. Unless this could all be a waste of time if he joins the Young Bucks eventually. If they're just playing the long game and he joins them. Then I think House of Black's definitely winning. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say House of Black. But I don't think Sting and Darby... And Miro are gonna okay. Miro, I can see interrupting Sting and Darby. Uh, that's a bit of a tricky one. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I think the safe option is House of Black. Now let's see. Next one: Death Triangle versus Will Osprey and Aussie Open. Wow, we're gonna see Pack the first time on Dynamite. Nice. Do you think they'll allow okay. him to carry the title? Because we haven't seen the title on Dynamite since it was announced. So. Apparently, it's not allowed uh, on Dynamite. <laughs> That's my question. Apparently, it's not allowed on Dynamite. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm being sarcastic. That's, uh, oh, wow. I don't know why. But, yeah. They'll def... Yeah, Pac, I have not seen that man on Dynamite in so long. I don't think he's been Death on it Trump. since he won the title. Yeah. It's a problem. He's been it's competing on Dark. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Osprey and Aussie Open win. Because I think Death Triangle is done for. I think they're slowly yeah. but surely done for. As a trio. Obviously not Penta and Phoenix. I think they're still going to continue. They're just going to move on from Pac. Yeah. And I love Pac's going to move on from them. Yeah. And I love those guys to death. But golly. Ugh. Gets a bit stale yeah. to do the same thing every match. Mm -hmm. And then they reappear and reunite again. Ugh. I love Di I love Death Triangle to death, but I'm getting bored of it. But yeah, hey, I agree. I'm going to say Death Triangle for the win. Death I'll Triangle's say winning. Osprey and Aussie Open. I don't think they're going to come in just for, for one first round match. I think if that was the case, they would have put in someone like... The, the ass boys I forget the name the gun club uh, I feel like they would have threw them in there instead with hopefully there's a girl that I know that that loves the gun club did not hear the ass boys slander <laughs> it's not slander it's, it's a cool name I prefer the name to the gun club if you're watching this don't don't hate on us okay next up we got the best friends versus the trust busters do we care? We just figured out Firstly, who the trust busters. Yeah, before <laughs> this, before we recorded, we we're like, we know everyone else, but who's the trust busters? So we had to yeah. do a quick Google, and we figured out it's a couple of WWE rejects and some guy named Slim J. <laughs> yeah, and Sunny Kiss is there for what whatever reason. Yeah, that, so, that's a new thing. What are we saying? I'm what are saying, we saying about that. Tony Khan, he's gonna he's gonna put Orange Cassidy in the semis, so best friends are winning. Uh, 
I do want to say trust busters, but I don't. I don't know much about them, so I'm going with best friends, just for yeah. the sake of Tony and trying to push Orange Cassidy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. But to be honest, uh, one of Chuck Taylor or Shane Beretta can take the pin, and it can push up uh, Parker Bordeaux again. So could go either way. To be honest, I don't think it matters in the grand grand scheme of things. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see that happening. So yeah, what are we saying about that? Best friends for the win. Or... Yeah, best friends. Next, next match: Andrade El Idolo, Dragon Lee, and Rouge versus the Young Bucks and their mystery tag partner. Well, let us know in the comments, guys. Who who is the mystery partner? Because we know who it's going to be. We all know who it is. Are they just teasing it though? And Hangman is eventually just gonna join them, or is it gonna be the cleaner Kenny Omega, whatever his name was in Japan? I doubt that the Bucks are that are that retarded to do something like that. But eesh. yeah, again, Kenny Omega coming back—it's it's inevitable. Yeah. It's very inevitable. It's a good way to bring him back as well. Keeps him busy. He doesn't have to go straight back into the title scene, the main title. Keeps him busy yeah. with with a new title. Really pushes that title as well. So mm -hmm. I agree. If it's Kenny, I don't mind at all. Yeah, it's Kenny, guys. It really matters. So yeah, who's winning um, that one? If it's Kenny, the Young Bucks will win. Either way, actually, yeah. even if it's yeah. even if it's some random. Uh, jobber from nowhere young bucks are winning <laughs> yeah the elite are winning yeah the elite for sure. for sure unless unless adam cole and Brett dragon interfere in that match which to be honest, i don't see it happening because if they were medically cleared i think they'd be involved oh yeah most definitely so i don't see that happening i see that being the the match after so to face the winners i see that being the match mm -hmm. so should we move on to the semi-finals or the semi-finals as some people would say yeah we gotta we gotta cater to the american audience <laughs> semi-finals <laughs> okay so we predicted house of black is going to beat the dark order and we yep. predicted the best friends are going to the semi-finals because so, it, we could, Cassidy. we could just answer that straight away. The House of Black. House of Black going to the final. One way or the other. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's set in stone. Unless, like I was talking about earlier, Dark would get an upset, but either way. It would shock me for a few reasons if Dark Order make it to the sem to the semifinals. It would definitely shock me. I think if they beat okay. House of Black in the first round, they'll make it to the final as well. So I think either House of Black or Dark Order are going to the final. Ooh. That's how it mm. goes. Oh yeah, most definitely. Okay. Now, House of Black, we've established, they're going to the final or Dark Order via an upset. Now, the next semi, the next semi-final or semi-final, Death Triangle versus the Elite. Oh, that... I actually like that match. I'm not even gonna lie to you, because we all know what the Lucha Bros and the Young Bucks can do. We know what Pack and Kenny can do. But all, but the same, but the two teams against each other. <laughs> that that would be interesting. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, it's gonna be non-stop, non-stop action. Which I think going into that match, you gotta know what what to expect. Just go into oh, yeah. it. With the mindset of you're just gonna see tag team wrestling without any rules because half the time there's no tags and there's like hundred no counts, counts no counts no nothing yeah. so you got to go into the match with an open mind knowing what you're gonna expect to enjoy it oh yeah so most if, definitely if you look at it that way it'll be a damn good match oh most definitely but who's coming out on top bucks or the elite. I want to, I want to say Death Triangle, out of spite for the elite because I'm not a fan of those guys. 
but so I can definitely heart. see the elite going through. So your heart says Death Triangle, but your brain says the elite. Yep. Yep. That's what it that's what it's saying. But I don't but whatever happens, I won't be mad at the end of the day. I really won't. Yeah. He doesn't know I'm the biggest fan of the Bucks and Omega. But Omega I can tolerate the Bucks. Nah, not so much. As long as you keep the mic away from Omega, it's all good. No, keep the mic away from the Bucks and Omega and you got yourself a good and get a good mouthpiece, then we're sorted. Yeah. So we're looking but at the yeah. Bucks versus House of Black. Yo, what a what a match that could be actually. The elite that is actually the House of Black. It's a strange match if you think about it. It's very strange, but if if done nicely, I can I don't see I don't see it not being a bad match at all. I really I, don't. I think it could be better than the Elite versus Death Triangle. I think it would be better. Yeah. I just think it would be more balanced and less. I'm gonna piss some people off, but less indie wrestling. Like, <laughs> it'll be more balanced because you'll have Brody, you'll have um, Buddy Matthews, Buddy. Or, but whatever his name is now, Buddy, um, and that'll balance it out a bit more. And you got Black, yeah. and you got the Bucks and Omega, who will probably gel to the style. I think Omega will. Yeah. yeah, he'll gel to he'll gel to Malachi and and Matthews' offense. The point I'm making the match. is it won't be Canadian Destroyer after Canadian Destroyer after Canadian Destroyer. Like Death Triangle yep. versus the Elite. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get That's you. what I mean. So, who are you saying to win the whole thing? Elite. From the way it looks, yeah. I say the elite. Yeah. I think it sets up a match directly after that very easily. If they made it cleared in Adam Cole and Red Dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they're medically cleared, I can definitely see them having a rivalry for like a few months yeah. or even longer. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. It sets up perfect feud for the titles afterwards to keep them on TV. Unlike Pac's title, which hasn't been on TV at all. So, so I, th I think that makes sense to have the elite win. Oh well, yeah, I can definitely see. I can definitely see Omega and the Bucks winning the whole thing. I can definitely see it. For sure, and it, so Omega will come back. It makes sense. They Omega. established trio. To be honest, uh, yeah, like from before AEW, they established trio. So it kind of makes sense. And like you said, Omega doesn't really need to rush into the championship picture so so quickly after his comeback. Yeah, he keeps really him doesn't. busy. Keeps him busy. And mm -hmm. he can also help rehab his take it easy coming into his um coming back into wrestling because he's not gonna be singles match, singles match, singles match. Uh, he He'll would be... just want to wrestle with his friends, which I wouldn't mind, of course. And it can take it slightly no more easier. That. It can ease back into it a bit more. So we say Kenny Omega will have a different style when he comes back. I think that's actually a good video topic. What's Kenny Omega going to look like when he comes back? Oh. If he comes that back. Is... If he comes yeah. back. That's an interesting topic that we're going to talk about on another day. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video so guys let us know in the comments who you think are going to be the inaugural AEW trios champions of uh, and who which who you're rooting for are you rooting for the elite are you rooting for death triangle house of black dark order best friends will osprey and his bitches or the nobody the trust busters or Hashtag the nobodies. Oh, and if you're a fan of either of those teams, please don't take the slang. Please don't take the disrespect. It's uh, just how it is. Uh, we're just having fun with it. We're not, we're not all serious. But anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please stomp on that like button. Stomp that subscribe button and stomp on the bell button to be notified when your favorite stomp boys appear next. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just too sweet.